All right, so welcome to laboratory experiment number seven, pH measurement. Uh, we're going to start along with the procedure. And first, we're actually just going to obtain our blue litmus paper, our red litmus paper, which is red. It's like screen or something. <laughs> And finally, our wide range pH paper. This is good for measuring, uh, using color to figure out what pH certain solutions are. A little more specific pH readings, not just generally acidic or generally basic, corresponding to blue or red. Uh, we have a pH meter and our electrode, which we'll get to how to use that more later in this video. This is step one of the procedure. We're getting three milliliters of each of the following solutions. And one at a time, we'll be testing each solution with that red and blue litmus paper to see if it falls into the general categories of acidic or basic. I think water is acidic or basic. <laughs> That's a tough one, Dr. Mood. I don't know. Let's see. So red is staying red, and no surprise there, blue is staying blue. Neither acidic nor basic. So what does that mean? It's neutral. Ooh, neutral. So if I had to put a number on that, I guess that's up to you guys to decide. Somewhere between 1 and 13. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next we have our apple juice. Predictions. I'm going to say slightly acidic. That's my guess. A uh, good guess, I think. The tartness. Yeah. The taste. That's usually associated with acid. Yeah, there it is. Blue litmus paper turning red, that means it's an acidic solution. Some difficulty grabbing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next is milk. It's kind of hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> These days, right along there with toilet paper. All right, so it looks like our blue turned a very slight red. Hmm. Or did it not? No. no. I, I think you're right. I think it did turn a little red. Look at that. Pinkish. Which is a bit surprising. I mean, normally we associate milk with being basic, used to help with heartburn, things like that. Maybe it's old. <laughs> you know, lactic acid, I think, would be in milk. And the older the milk gets, the more lactic acid there would be as, as bacteria breaks it down. Looks right. blue. Are oh, you talking about the solution or the litmus? Both. <laughs> oh, okay. So we have a red, it's a clear turn to blue for our window cleaner solution. Right, up next, we have our 0.1 molar sodium chloride solution. You might know this as salt water. No change there. It looks red. <laughs> red stays red, blue stays blue. So strong electrolytes at least these strong electrolytes, don't affect the pH of the solution. There we go. Turn blue. Turn blue. You guys should be getting the hang of this by now. This is an interesting one. Yeah. Iron chloride, iron in solution, we can see it acts as an acid. Although it had no obvious protons to donate in the uh, chemical formula, 
So it's not an Arrhenius or Bronsted Lowry acid. That makes it a loose acid. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> We're going to be moving on to step four. We're going to use the uh, same kind of method, but instead of a red and blue litmus paper, we're going to use the uh, yellow wide range pH paper. Litmus paper, excuse me. So we'll get a better number for water, hopefully. <laughs> kind of neutral still, though. There's our apple juice. A little acidic. It's pretty neutral. Maybe a little, little basic. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Cleaning solution. Still basic. <laughs> Wild. Salt solution. Pretty neutral. Relatively. Nice and basic there. The Lewis acid is still acidic. <laughs> All right, so we're going to give you guys a closer look at this. Um, with kind of the key that comes on the wide range uh, litmus paper bottle. Uh, so feel free to actually pause the video right about now uh, and make notes into your lab manual or your uh, lab notebook as to the pH of each of the solutions. All right, moving on to step five, we're now going to use our pH meter and electrode to determine the pHs of each solution. Um, so we actually missed taking the pH of water. Um, yeah, so it was about 6.70, if you guys want to make a note of that. Um, for water. For water. Now we're going to be moving on with apple juice. You can see, we wait till it stabilizes. Get the reading. And it's really important that you rinse off uh, the electrode every time. Why? Uh, you just don't want to carry over any solution from the previous one um, into the next, just a uh, contamination. It's just good lab procedure. Well, our milk is a little acidic. Yeah, a little more acidic than water. Surprisingly. You guys may have heard that drinking milk heart, uh, helps with heartburn or stomach acid. That actually may not be the case. Or the milk could just be old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a little chunky. I think all milk actually is a little bit acidic because all milk has a little bit of lactic acid in it. Right. Our window cleaner. Still nice and basic. Pretty high pH. Probably has some cleaning agent like um, some ammonia in it, perhaps. Yeah, a little bit. Our salt is a little basic. Yeah, and I actually have heard if you do have like heartburn or indigestion, drinking a little salt water helps. That's like a thing people used to do. There's, now we have Tums. Just take a Tum. I guess I was wrong. That's a city. No. I mean, barely. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's easy to forget just how little acid concentration there is when something is pH 7-ish. Right? We're looking at a concentration of hydronium on the range of 0 0.0000000 something. Right? Six zeros preceding a value. That's what pH 7 is. So really, really, really not um, very acidic at all. The sodium bicarbonate, which, if you haven't figured out by now, is a base. <laughs> and it's basic. <laughs> yeah, just to remind you guys, pH, uh, that P stands for log. Um, so every number greater, so from 7 to 8, 8 to 9, is tenfold greater. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty big difference, each number. Ferric chloride is still very acidic. Yeah, so as water is dissociating into small amounts of hydroxide and hydronium, the iron is grabbing up the hydroxide and creating an excess of hydronium in solution. I think that is what is making that solution acidic. Uh, and this last one here, I was just drinking some coffee, and I just wondered how acidic it was, because it always gives me heartburn. Uh, so we checked it out. It's acidic. 